What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be covering how to not lose money on your eBay dropshipping sales. First thing first, there's a few things that you got to know. But when you have a store, you're going to have to pay sales tax when you're purchasing items from your supplier. And if you don't have a store subscription, things are going to be different than when you do have a store subscription on eBay. By this time, if you're watching my channel, you know that we here cover everything regarding eBay drop shipping and e-commerce. This video is specifically for people that are drop shipping on eBay. Now, I want to tell you a story because I had a guy that came to me once and he was like, hey, I'm making all these profits on eBay. Look, in my first month, I sold this amount of money and I was actually surprised. But then when we were doing uh, the research on his accounting and the things I was doing, he was not taking into account all the fees and different percentages that you got to know regarding your business and his business was actually in the negative. So today I will be breaking everything down for you so that you do not lose money on your eBay dropshipping sales. I'm going to give you three scenarios. We're going to start uh, by the first scenario, which most of you guys are going to go one by one. But let's say that you have an eBay store and you have to pay sales tax on your supplier. Let's say your supplier is Amazon. And when you go purchase things from Amazon, you're going to have to pay taxes on those products. So if you're not tax exempted yet, you're going to have to pay taxes. So sales tax are going to be approximately 6%, depending on the state that you're shipping the item to. But average is going to be 6%. That, with that being said, you know that you got to raise your prices at least 6% extra so that you can cover sales tax. Now, managed payment fees, it has changed. Uh, a lot previously, even we only do PayPal, and the fees were a bit different just by like a few a few percentages. But now things are completely different. eBay is implementing managed payments, which is actually great. We're all very happy that they're doing this. But there's something that you gotta know, and it is that they're gonna be charging you approximately thirteen percent on all your sales. Now I pull this out for you guys. So you can see uh, they have different categories, right? So the final value fee that we're going to charge is going to be different depending on each category. But as you can see, this one is uh, $12.55, $14.55, $12.35, $15. So it's going to be an average of 13% extra that you got to add plus $0.30 cents per order, which we already have that one here uh, done for you guys. So as of right now, if you not if you don't have any source subscription, right? You have uh, the basic eBay uh, subscription. You're gonna have to approximately raise your prices by six percent plus another thirteen percent on uh, overall, so that you can at least break even as of right now. So that means that you have to sell your products at least uh, nineteen percent higher, so that you can break even and not lose money plus another thirty cents. Now, listing fee is going to be up to 250 items for free with a basic subscription, meaning that you have no subscription. And after that, they're going to charge you depending on, again, your subscription and how many products. They have different articles. Uh, they have here right insertion fees. And for example, if you have no store package, right, it's going to be up to 250 listings that you can list on eBay uh, completely free. So that's with your payment, managed payments. If you are... Uh, if you have managed payments, <clears throat> which most of you guys are going to have. If you have the starter store package, it's going to be up to 250 items, uh, again, for free. Basic store package, it, it, start, it, it starts to change and it gets better and better the deeper you go into the route. But again, the, the, the bigger the package that, that you're getting, the more money that you're going to have to pay. So they give you a few extra listings and a few extra benefits when you subscribe to a bigger store. If you're inside the academy, I tell you when to subscribe to each store so that you can either break even or take more advantage of the free listings that they give you. If you're not inside the academy, feel free to go to ecommercecentury.com and check out all our programs. Now let's come back here. Cost of shipping, you also have to take that into consideration. Now AutoDS, which is our one of our, of our automation tools, they already add any uh, shipping codes. Example, for Walmart, any order on the $35, you're going to have to pay about uh, $5 or more for shipping depending on the product. Right now, even though Walmart has a, has a special subscription now 
that you pay a certain amount of money and you get uh, unlimited free shipping for those uh, low ticket items they still do it out of the out of the still does that so that you do not lose money also the description on walmart uh it's not it's not forever i had it on one of my stores and it was suspended so i don't want to say it's not recommended because you're gonna save some money but just know that uh it's not gonna be forever and make sure that you can add the shipping fee if you're drop shipping from walmart now on amazon you're good to go on amazon remember that if you have Amazon Prime, shipper is always going to be free. Just make sure that you are drop shipping Prime products only. If you go to the Home Depot, you, sh you can check out the numbers here. And if you drop ship from Lowe's, you can also check out the numbers here. Now, profit margins here are going to be zero. And this is what's going to happen for most of you guys who are just starting out. Why? Because you're just starting to drop ship on eBay eBay does not know who the heck you are. So right now what you're doing is that you're building trust, right? Uh, you want to get more sales. You want to build a reputation with eBay. And to get more sales, you're going to have to sell as cheap as possible. And right now, since you are not exempted, you have to pay taxes and you have to manage payment, etc. You have to sell your items for at least 19% more plus 30 cents for you to break even. Now, uh, let's say that you still uh, do not have a uh, sales tax, right? And you have to pay sales tax, but now you have a store subscription, okay? So you still have to pay taxes on your supplier. That's going to be 6%. And managed payments is still going to be 13%. And now your leasing fees are going to change. Remember that depending on the social subscription that you have, your leasing fees are going to change. So you may be able to sell things a little cheaper or uh, maybe a little more expensive and make some profits. So that's going to depend on the source description that you have. Things with uh, shipping, when it comes to AutoDS, it's gonna feel the same. They're gonna add any extra code so you don't have to worry about that. They're going to add it for you and the profit margins are going to still be uh, zero and you're gonna be breaking even here as well. Now, we'll go through this. At the beginning, I used to sell items uh, at breaking even as well. Just that I, I could get my store moving, etc. But now, when you get to this level where you don't have to pay taxes anymore, when you go to your supplier, you pay zero taxes, you have an average of 6% or more that now you can keep as profits. So now things start getting good because you only have to sell things 13% higher for you to break even and 30 cents. Now your profit margins will start to go from 6%. And higher why because you're not paying taxes on your supplier and then uh, here things will uh, still be the same on cost of shipping and supplier website and leasing fees again it will depend on your subscription so with that being said do not freak out at the beginning just make sure that you're raising your prices so your business is not in negative and it is okay to break even at the beginning remember you're building credibility now once you're already exempted on your suppliers you can start keeping an extra 6% or more. If you do not know how to get tax exempted on Amazon or Walmart, you can always check out ecommercecentury.com, check out our programs, or if you're interested in getting help from someone one-on-one uh, -on -one and get tax exempted, shoot me a DM, either myself or a member from our team will get back to you and we'll go from there. Guys, do not forget to subscribe to our channel. We're always giving as much value as possible, completely free. So subscribe, check out the rest of our videos, and let us know in the comments what future videos you would like to see, any secrets, any tips, any tools that you would like to uh, use and learn about e-commerce, especially even dropshipping, let us know. Now remember, make sure that you have your percentage right so your business is not in the negative and you're actually making profits. I'll see you in the next video.